Let's move over to Berkshire Hathaway, and why don't we why don't we start with uh, the thirteen F filing, their quarterly filing, because the and we'll get to the the big stakes that Berkshire Hathaway owns and the degree to which they are increasing or decreasing some of those large stakes. But the headline is that Berkshire Hathaway is now a shareholder of a little fruit company we like to call <laughs> Apple. All the reports indicate that this was not Buffett's call. This right. was um, was this Ted Wessler? Either Combs or Wessler. I haven't read if they uh, named one or the other, but I know it But was one of his trusted one lieutenants one made this other. purchase. Yeah. And, and I mean, that makes sense. I mean, um, I think more and more as time goes on, we're going to see that's generally the case where um, those two are going to be making probably more of the equity investments. I think Buffett and, and maybe Munger to a, to a lesser degree can use sort of their reputation in in um, in the business world as perhaps facilitating deals or helping to back deals like they've done, um, or you know, it's, it's being rumored at least that they are going to do something like that with Yahoo. So. Uh, I mean, it's you have you have these these two guys that are they're younger, obviously have maybe a little bit of a different perspective on the world. They invest very similarly to to how Warren Buffett invests, but but I'm sure they probably feel like they have a better grasp on technology than perhaps Buffett thinks that he might, um, which, which could explain a lot behind this deal. But I mean, they have they have virtually infinite financial resources, and so they really need to sort of figure out ways to play. Um, big ideas in in Apple is is by far one of the biggest. Kind of fits the mold. Didn't they invest in Kinder Morgan when Kinder Morgan yes. sold off? So you yeah. see Apple selling off quite considerably. So possibly just seeking that value that Buffett was known for for the for the long tenure of his career so far. So do you th- do we run the risk of of trying to read too much into this? I'm I'm just thinking about. Anyone who is looking at this move, and again, this is this is not Buffett. This is one of his lieutenants. But I I think it would be understandable for an investor looking at this move to ask the question: Does this give us a glimpse into the future of Berkshire Hathaway post Warren Buffett? And I'm wondering, you know, that that may be true. Although, do we do we risk reading too much into that? That once Buffett either you know for whatever reason. Warren Buffett is no longer running Berkshire Hathaway. Do we see a lot more move into technology investments, or is this just sort of no? This was the the best use of capital at this time. I think with Apple, it's a tech stock, yes, but it's the biggest stock in the world, just ahead of Google. So it's not your average small cap, mid cap tech stock that's going to be this volatile beast that you don't really understand completely. It's it's a cash generating machine. They got a dividend now, so it, it's. I don't think it's your typical tech stock. It might be a first foray into it, really, um, but uh, I don't think that it's signaling a significant sea change here. No, and I, th- I think probably as time goes on, just the way the world changes, the way technology mm-hmm. moves so fast, I think just that alone, Berkshire Hathaway is more or less going to have to uh, dip a toe into the tech tech space a little bit more as time goes on. But yeah, I mean to Taylor's point there. I mean Apple is is not your typical tech company. I mean you're buying really one of the most powerful brands on the entire planet, and uh, probably a bit easy easier for them to sort of look at this and say, well, they're selling a product, right? I mean they're not you know, they're selling phones and tablets and whatnot and the software that goes with it. It's a pretty easy business to understand. With that said, I mean, where Apple is today versus where it was ten years ago, I, this is a fundamentally different investment now. I mean, this is not like you're investing in some growth style uh, tech company that that could have multi bagger status in the next five to ten years. Chances are that's not going to happen. Um, and when you go through the rest of Berkshire's portfolio, I mean, you see a lot of those. Those old reliables in there, like Moody's and Phillips sixty six and General Electric and IBM and Coca Cola and Wells Fargo. So, I mean, Apple I think is the same type of business, and then people identify it uh, very much the same way. I'm a little surprised that given given all of the all of the the sort of positive sentiment that Buffett has offered towards Jeff Bezos and what he's done. In his life with Amazon, I really honestly thought maybe we would see um, Berkshire consider initiating a position in Amazon because 
they have a huge position in Walmart, and and I think that a lot of us believe that uh, Walmart is sort of the old guard there, and Amazon is really the new guard where it comes to retail. And and again, retail is not all that difficult to understand. Amazon, I would also put in there as a tech company uh, because because they are. They're not paying a dividend though. They're not paying no, a not, dividend. Not that's quite. true. But I also I also if you're asking me which one outperforms over the next five years, I'm picking Amazon without even thinking twice about it. So you know, Carl uh, Carl Icahn just recently divested from Apple, saying it was no longer the no brainer that he once said it was. So I mean, that ultimately is a market, right? People disagreeing, and you kind of uh, pick a side there. Um, but but it seems that they at least feel like there's going to be some kind of a an attractive return in the next in the next few years. Carl Icahn also didn't really get the, get what he wanted <laughs> in terms of activism. You know the yeah. higher shareholder returns in terms of a dividend or share buyback. So maybe he's admitting defeat more so than Apple might not be a great stock for the next couple of years. And he was pegging Apple shares at some point in in the past year as as maybe a double from their current levels. Now, granted, that wasn't all just organic growth, yeah, right. right? That was share buybacks along with whatever product came in the, out of the pipeline there. And I think a lot of us felt like maybe that was a bit optimistic as well, um, especially when you look at how Apple's performed. Go back to 2012 when they initiated the dividend. It's not like it's outperformed the market. It really hasn't. Um, so I'd love to see him juice the dividend a little bit. Buybacks are fine, um, and hey, I mean, if we happen to see a uh, a tax holiday at some point where they can bring some of that cash back home, that would probably be a catalyst as well. You mentioned Berkshire Hathaway stake in Walmart. That is one of the smaller headlines today. Is that when you look at where the investments are and the big investments that Berkshire Hathaway makes, we've seen they disclosed. They've got a smaller stake in Walmart, a smaller stake in MasterCard, Procter and Gamble. They've increased their stake in IBM, Philips 66, and Visa. I'm assuming that the the Visa MasterCard is is not so much. We greatly prefer Visa to MasterCard. That that may have just been simply an overweighting issue, a slight overweight. Um, and and they're, it's not like AT and T where they just outright eliminated their stake. Phillips sixty six. What? Any insight into the the increase in their stake there? Um, not really. I mean, it's one of the bigger downstream companies in the U.S. in the world. Um, it could certainly be a play on the chemical side of the business, which chemicals they're benefiting from low oil prices, they're benefiting from natu- low natural gas prices, um, and I think. The growth in what we use chemicals for has certainly got a bright future. So I think that it's it's more along the lines of not the gasoline, but the other byproducts that you're getting out of Philips 66, and they're putting a lot of money into that business. So I think that that might be what they're looking at. And obviously, energy has been suffering for a while, so maybe there's a value side to that play as well. 